tuendelee kusubiri tuone nani atatuokoa lakini Rais William Ruto mm -hmm. ameahidi kutengeneza mazingira mwafaka kwa wawekezaji wa kigeni humu nchini na alisema haya akihutubia kongamano la wawekezaji nchini San Francisco nchini Marekani ambapo alidokeza kuwa serikali itaacha kutoza kodi zisizofaa tazamaji kauli hiyo ya Ruto kwa Marekani inaonekana kwenda kinyume kabisa na hali ilivyo hapa nyumbani kwa Kenya ambapo wananchi wanaamini kwamba kodi mpya kila uchao ndio inao wakabili mm -hmm. To actualize the intention of developing a business friendly environment, the following commitments are now very high strategic priorities. First, for the sake of stability, we have a tax code that is simple to enforce, consistent, fair, and predictable that lasts at least three years. This is one commitment that I undertook when I made uh, contact and I had a conversation with the American Chamber of Commerce. Secondly, we are committed to align our institutional framework for data protection with a global regime of global cross-border privacy rules framework. Third, we have eliminated VAT on exported products and the tax on stock-based compensation for employees of startups as well as domestic equity requirements for ICT companies have been removed. Again, these are a raft of commitments that I did undertake to make Kenya a destination for the kind of companies that you run. You can now operate from Kenya into the region, provide services across the region without paying any additional tax. There was a requirement before that for you to set up in our continent, you needed to um, uh, partner with companies in Kenya to the extent of 30% of equity. We have removed that requirement because we realize that the ability or capability of some of the companies locally to have that kind of resources may not exist and therefore it served as an impediment. Further, we also give our undertaking to comply with the OECD's uh, two-pillar solution for digital services tax when it enters into force. I believe it is also necessary at this stage to underscore our commitment to the re-engineering of our country's special economic zones and export processing zones with the intention of making them the most competitive in Africa.